New at 6, protecting police dogs in the line of duty. An animal hospital in Stoneham rallied to buy bulletproof vests for canine officers. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us tonight, a greater Boston starts with making sure all of our first responders have the protection that they need. With a canine officer, anything is possible. Yet there are some police dogs who face the unknown without protection. Do we want something to happen to you guys? No. It is common to see a police tracking dog in a protective vest. But what about departments with support animals? I haven't heard of many that have the ballistic vest for comfort dogs. Cooper here is a police comfort dog. You'll find him at Reading High School, but if his handler is called to a major scene, she can't assist. If we would go to a crime scene, they would assist any victim of a crime uh, in comfort or therapy. Coop, you ready? Stoneham Animal Hospital has a very simple belief. Every dog that works at the police department should have a tactical vest. In just six days, hospital manager Trish Kovachev and her customers raised thousands of dollars to get Cooper and his partner Rusty two ballistic vests. This one is Rusty's vest. It's a heavy vest. It a heavy we had one client come in. He said, how much, how much till you get your goal? And he, he donated like over $300 to get to our goal. They can cost twelve to $1,500 each. Just did the measurements and everything? Each one weighs several pounds. Each one could be the difference between life and death. We see your head. Rusty's handler, Matt Vatcher, is a school resource officer. These vests are going to be peace of mind for us. Violence in schools is kind of trending upwards in this country, so, I mean, it's, it's always good to have it. Just last week, Lynn Classical High School had a stabbing at the school. They are bulletproof, stab-proof, slash-proof. The way things are now, it's so scary, and you, you never know. Officer Vatcher says certain grants cover the vest price for working dogs. Their tracking dog just got one. Coop and Rusty were donated to the department. All the funding for them comes out of pocket. Wow. In Stoneham, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Well, I'm glad they have that protection. It's so important. It seems like a fairly common sense type of thing, right? right? I mean, they didn't choose the job. They're going into very tough situations, and uh, it's nice to see them protected. Now they have a tool they need. Yep.